Okay, I got a, a bunch of Ludwigia here in this little, this little low-lying area in this park. And unfortunately, it's all like in wet areas, but I see some stems on that plant in there that are completely stripped down. So I, I know there's caterpillars in there, guys. So I'm gonna actually walk in there against better judgment. This is full of water. Water is ankle deep. I'm hopeful, hopefully it's not much deeper than that. But the hope is, guys, let's see if we can't find us some Sphinx caterpillars. Uh, this is what I... This is what I saw from all the way over there. You see that there, guys? When you see all those stems completely bare, you know there's a caterpillar nearby. And it probably, if it's not on like a, like a really nearby stem, or maybe crawled over here somewhere, then that means it's already pupated and I've, I've missed it, which is very possible, but that, that would suck. Um, but that 100% that right there was a caterpillar, a Sphinx caterpillar that defoliated this, this little stem right here, but I don't see them. Once they do that, they're huge. And once they, once they completely defoliate all the leaves on a, on a branch like that, it's a big larva, you, you can't miss it. Um, so I'm imagining he went down somewhere and made a cocoon and pupated. I, I wonder what they do. Like they, they usually bury themselves in the sand leaf litter, but this is water. So I, I'm, I wonder where they would pupate. I don't know that I'm really feeling up to hunting for a, a pupa right now. Caterpillars are usually a lot easier to find than this. I'm just not seeing them. Uh, guys, I thought I was going to find one right there. Um, I'm, I guess I'm a little late. I think that's the end of that story. I'm going to look for another another opportunity. All right, guys. Uh, it looks like I'm late on this little cluster here. A female must have found this patch and just laid a whole bunch of eggs because um, I walked over here and found another limb that's just stripped here uh there was a few other places where are they oh yeah so like look at these guys so these all these leaves are eaten off of this one they're eaten off of these these this was these were all sphinx caterpillars look at this see this right here and it's pretty recent but what makes me think i'm a little late check this out where this was eaten we we have new leaves starting to grow back so this is, I'm probably like a couple days late. I probably missed these caterpillars by a couple days. Cause we've got new leaves starting to grow back. That means that the growth was eaten, or this leaves were eaten a few days ago and the plant's already starting to push out new vegetation. Um, now this, the, there's nothing growing back yet on here. So this was probably like within, within the last two days but I don't see any caterpillars, guys. I, so I, I, I must have just missed them. They must have crawled off and made their cocoon somewhere, made their pupa somewhere uh, in this grass down here. Yeah, it's very frustrating. I'm trying to find some caterpillars to show you guys. This is customary. Whenever I'm looking for a particular type of uh, Lepidoptera caterpillar, there's always bycatch and what I'm finding on these Ludwigia are these tents. And I believe it's some form of pyralid larva. And it's always interesting to, as you're documenting things, to say, all right, well, what else, what else lives with the bugs that we're, that we're, we're targeting, you know? And it, there's a relationship here between whatever this moth is and our sphinx moth so I, I like to keep a couple caterpillars and just raise those through and document what those turn out to be so that we can have a better picture of uh you know what what type of symbiotic relationship they have with other creatures out here 
or who do they have to compete with food for, for food with. And there's definitely, this is a tent woven together with silk. There's definitely a larva in there. Yeah, you can see the larva in there. It's a little pyralid, so I'll snap this stem here. We'll see what those turn out to be. And uh, it's always fun. But that's not what I'm here for, guys. I'm here for Sphinx larvae. Um, and I haven't found any yet, so I'm a little perturbed. But we are going to continue to look and see if we can find some. All right, guys, another disappointment. Um, I'm finding more stems of the Ludwigia with no leaves whatsoever. So this is just another evidence that whatever this, this brood that just came and annihilated some of these plants, there are no caterpillars on this plant. I've looked it over, looked over the entire plant, um, and there's none left. And so there's, there's plenty of foliage here. So if the caterpillars weren't done eating, they would have definitely migrated over to here, or continue to eat. But I've looked this up and down, and I don't see um, any evidence of any caterpillars over here. So it's just a little bit of a bummer. Um, man, hope we can find at least one. This is tough. female peacock it's a beauty big broad winged female white peacock and already a jatrophy <sighs> it's one of the bugs you'll see on the water's edge down here I don't have all day sphinx moths I need to do this man you know I'm, I'm also looking at pond apple just seeing if I see any limbs that are stripped of leaves here because that would mean giant sphinx. Um, I've, I've been very unlucky finding them, unfortunately, but um, we're not we're not going to give up on that either. That would be a cool thing to find. Show you guys uh, another Lidwigia. I'm, I'm seeing some of these pyralid like caterp caterpillar tents, but I'm not seeing any major defoliation on this plant. Probably not any larvae here. I don't see any evidence of Sphinx larva there. Okay, well, I might have to go find another little pod. I, I've walked around this little low-lying thing and looked at all the Ludwigia, so I gotta find another pod, see what we can do. All right, I was driving by and I found another big patch of Ludwigia, so um, coming over to check it out. Some nice big flowers, nice healthy stand of host plant. Got some cool dragonflies floating around. Guys, we're looking so hard. What is that? Huh. Spider shell? Okay, well, there's evidence here, guys. Look at this. The stem here is missing leaves. Stem here missing leaves. I'm not seeing caterpillars though. Sometimes you can just run your fingers, run your hands over the stems like, oh, look guys, I found one. Got him, got him. There he is. I knew he was there. See, when you see this guys, look at this. When you see this right here, you see missing stems, uh, stems that have leaves missing. Do you, do you know there's a caterpillar nearby? So they're so camouflaged though that he just blends right in. He's final instar. This larva right here, guys, is probably a day or two away from pupating. Let me just go ahead and pick him off. Big fat caterpillar there of the banded sphinx. This is the green form. So I'm super excited. Um, probably a lack of faith. I didn't even bring my container, so. <laughs> I gotta go back to my truck and uh, get my container. I'm liking this stand, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring my scissors and uh, with with hope and faith that I'll find more. All right, let me look back here again. Let's see if we can't find another one. All right, let's see. Found him. See if I can find any other smaller plant. A lot of times it's easier when you find 
smaller plants that have uh, leaves missing because then the caterpillars don't have that much, many places to go. Uh, okay, this one's missing some stem, leaves here on the stem. Oh, yep, there's another caterpillar, guys. Look, check this guy out. How cool is he? Look at the red spots on like surrounding the uh, sphericals. This is the fourth instar caterpillar. Beauty. And you know, again, I found him because I just saw this stem with the leaves chewed. So you're not looking for the caterpillars. When you're looking for sphinx larvae, you don't look for the caterpillars because the caterpillars are too camouflaged. You look for the more obvious thing, which is uh, stems with leaves missing and that will cue you to where they've been feeding. Then you go and look for the caterpillar. And that's how, you saw how quickly I found, oh, there's another one, look. Two of them on the same plant. Okay, great, 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 great. So I'm just going to snip, and I'm going to snip. Great, guys, two caterpillars. We got three caterpillars in the last three minutes. That's a great, ratio put them in there that's that's good news guys let's see if we can find some more all right guys i see ludwigia stem way back here in the water and it's got some stems missing leaves that means i have to trudge through this really nasty muddy stuff oh i went down a little further than i prefer there uh, but it will be worth it. It'll be worth it if I find caterpillars. I hope I don't drop my phone in the water. All right, look. See the big markings? The, the mark of a caterpillar being present? Those stems missing leaves? Where would he be? Is he not on here? Maybe a bird got to him before I did. Oh, come on. I don't see him. How bizarre. You would, I would think he would be on here. Sometimes I'll feel him. Like if you put your, run your hand over the top of the limb, the caterpillar feel, you can feel the caterpillar if he's, if he's there. Maybe he came on and climbed over here, no? I don't know guys, I don't see him. There's a disc golf thing here. These guys are doing their thing. Okay, 